The muscle that we're going to palpate in this video is known as teres minor. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to outline the borders and edges of our scapula here. So I'm going to take his arm and I'm just going to start to put it in the small of his back. And what I'm going to get him to try to completely relax. Excellent. So we can see the inferior angle here, and we're going to be palpating up along the lateral border of the scapula, which I've outlined with one hand at the bottom and one hand at the top. So this lateral border is often split into a couple different variances depending on kind of your reference source. Um, but for Terry's minor, it's often referenced as the upper one third, but could also be half of that lateral border. So the superior lateral border of the scapula in this region. I'm gonna bring his arm back and I'm actually gonna hang it off the edge of the table here. So I've identified what I believe is the origin for teres minor. And teres minor is basically a smaller version almost of infraspinatus. They're both gonna be doing a lot of external rotation. Now, teres meaning round, there's often a really ropey tubular muscle, which I can find right here and I'm easily able to cross fiber it, but let's activate it just to confirm. I'm gonna ask him to do a little external rotation. And as soon as he does that, that band of tissue got extremely tight underneath my fingers here. Excellent. So the origin, this muscle is really quite small. So as we go from that ropiness and it's gonna almost insert right away. So only a couple inches long and its insertion point is here on the humerus. And again, this is just below where infraspinatus inserted. So this is known as the inferior facet of the greater tubercle of the humerus. I'm gonna put him back into anatomical or based position here with his palm facing forward. As I find inferior aspect of that angle of the acromion, so this would be infraspinatus' insertion, and just below that right there is going to be teres minor. So again, the ropiness of teres minor and the insertion on the inferior facet of the greater tubercle of the humerus. Teres minor is responsible for doing external rotation, uh, just like infraspinatus, but some texts also reference that it has some ability to do some horizontal extension um, or even extension and again, adduction. So there's a variance in some of the references on what the actions are, but the main one that we're gonna be focusing on is external rotation of the arm at the glenohumeral joint.